In this video, I'll be showing my final project, which is automatic rock mineral growth measurement using machine vision. There are four methods that were being uh, used. The first one uh, is shown in this uh, code. I will be explaining the code. So the first one is reading the image, which is as you can see as we run here now first. Now the system has run the read the image which is shown here then it will convert the image from uh, RGB to grayscale as we continue it shows here and then which is the thresholding value we can set here different values but as it will show here that the segmentation is not quite too good the, the boundaries are unclear for the rock balloon if we move to the next method here this one this method actually is for separating the layers, the RGB, into each single uh, one. So first we read the image, and then we separate the three planes, as shown here. And then after that we segment each layer by uh, selecting this by selecting here the, the different values of the segmentation for each layer and then we sum all up again and still in shown in this method that it's not quite good and uh, the borders aren't showing really well the third one is the Utsu thresholding method same we first read the image and then we try to convert from uh, RGB to grayscale this one this image and then you here the system uh, converts to, uh, to grayscale and then we try to do edge detection and then we do the thresholding by it so it's shown that the image is looking good but still the bottom part of the Rock melon fruit is not showing really well. So, the final method, which is the color based thresholding, uh, first, this is the color based thresholding uh, function. This is the code, it's generated by the MATLAB when using the tools. First of all, as we see here, that we have loops for, for the loop because system later will run automatically so the first thing is we can uh, uh, choose which number from the set of images here the 12 in inputs which number of image you want to insert as we run and then we have the color based thresholding as this function is taken from the previous code written there the next thing we will see here is this input image after being processed by the RG, uh, the, the color based thresholding and using the ion fill uh, ion fill uh, function which fills the holes inside the uh, any shape and then we do the edge detection here edge detection and dilation as we run here you can see excuse me yes as we run here you see we can see that the, uh, that the, the the output image is quite good and the boundaries are quite clear so next is the calculation of the diameter and the area since the rock melon is not quite spherical the height and the width are being measured and then we can see that it's divided by 2 which is taking the average diameter and then dividing by this value which is converting from pixel value of which is the uh, diameter is originally measured in diame uh, in pixels we convert to real life centimeter and then we get the area of the fruit itself and then we have the growth rate which is change, absolute change and we find the growth and then we get uh, find the growth percentage uh, if we run the whole system we see here we get this images uh, the output we see the difference between the input and the output image and you can see here that the area is 76 and we can see also that the diameter 
is 9.88 and the growth percentage is here compared to the initial uh, recommended image if we try and uh, change this to count this will and if we run again sorry we need to remove the comments and we try to run the code it will run for all input images as you can see here it goes for all input images all at once and will record all the values which are uh, should be here yes if you open this uh, excel file excuse me yes it's all saved here these are for the area and this is for the diameter and this is for the uh, growth percentage and that's all. Thank you.